Yo, what's going on, guys? Justin here, back with a third video in succession, which is like a new record for me. So let's go, yeah. Okay, but nonetheless, uh, you you get the drill. What's going on here? The B drill, if I do say so myself. Only wink, nudge, nudge, nudge. But yeah, so third video, third roster reaction plus the young playoff predictions before the draft even starts because I'm dedicated and don't just want honey yeah let's do it <laughs> but naturally uh <clears throat> just gonna go over the teams in high pedro for season five and then I'm gonna give my thoughts and uh well I don't want to say teams but because they don't have teams but rather the coaches I would yeah, that's better terms. I'm going to go over the coaches. I'm going to uh, say who I think is going to go to playoffs, who I think is ultimately going to win the playoffs. And then, uh, yeah, no, uh, just going to move on to, uh, you know, the, the next league. Basically, yeah, just uh, good doing my thing, you know, just, yeah. But to uh, to say this out, uh, I'm just going to go down the list here. We have Juiced. Uh, and may I say, I love, <clears throat> I love, love, love his team name. Like, tell me, uh, like, Angels of Behem. Like, that is such a good team name, dude. I, I love, I love this, really. As, and, yeah, no, I just love it. And then we have Ice, uh, IPA member right now. Uh, us Barcelona Begons. Then we have, uh, uh, XRN, which is apparently how you're supposed to say it, but it is a uh, it, it is Zern in every other place. It's no one is gonna say it, XRN because that's not just not how it's supposed to be said. Come on, Zern, do, do, come on, just catch up with the times. We have a uh, Ben, <clears throat> another IPA coach actually. So we have three IPA coaches in a row here. Um, then we have Robin, Robin, uh, he's a pretty cool guy, I love, I like Robin, he's pretty cool, uh, David, uh, I believe he did some NPL work, but he has been here, and he's been doing pretty good, I think it's magic, I believe, yeah, uh, Ian, I don't know him, but you know what, uh, I like him, he's coach of the Ians, you know, <clears throat> not just Ian, just, like, not all Ians, because just Ian, he is coach of Ian. He like should copyright that, you know. And then we have Alex. Uh, I don't know much about Alex. The only thing I know about Alex is that my friend Jared, when he was in Hive, played him a lot uh, because I think they were in Kakuna together, and then they both went up to Beedrill together. <laughs> yeah, something like that. And so basically, uh, I know that I think Jared has a losing record against him in Hive. So, I think that attests to his skills. Uh, Owen, uh, the linear Latias here. Uh, Owen, IPA member. Uh, so, we have, we have, like, I, we have some skill here, if Owen's here, you know. Just, but, I don't know. He's coming back. He's been strong in his comeback. But, let's see if Beedrill's gonna uh, knock him down a peg or something. Who knows. Uh, Nader. Nader, he is a boy. Uh, he was my, uh, or I was his Hive Secret Santa, and I'm so happy that he enjoyed that stuff. Present Mike is a real G, you know. Uh, we have Mio, uh, IPA member, you know. Uh, Mio is really cool. He's one of the uh, people that I've really come to enjoy in between Hive and IPA. Uh, he's just really, I, I love him. Mio's amazing. Uh, Ranko Hype, basically. Uh, Recon Jack. Uh, <clears throat> fun fact, I think it was March Madness this season, or something like that. I gave him my spots in March Madness, and he took it to, like, top 16 or something, so good on him. I, um, let's see. A Sablo, former IPA member, and he's he was really good. So, Lomain, I believe he was, um, I thought he was in Weedle. Did he double promote? I don't think so. Maybe, unless he was in Kakuna. 
I know Mio double promoted, which is pretty cool. Uh, Youngster Bill, uh, homeboy. And then we have TC, one of the, one of the, the cool guys here, you know. Uh, but yeah, so uh, something I feel uh, I would like to put out with this group of people, this uh, roster, is that uh, I know these, like I know most of these people, for uh, like <laughs> like for me as. I did in Kakuna. I know them through friends, and I knew them a little bit through skill. In some cases, like in terms of skill, I knew them because of friends. I like and stuff like that. But with this group of people, I feel like there's more. I know these people more because of their skill. And I looking at this is just it's really a jam packed roster filled up with a lot of different people, a lot of uh, country. Uh, contrasting play styles, a lot of uh, good con <laughs> I don't want to say good content, but good gameplay. That they, they, I feel like all most of these guys know how to put on a good gameplay <clears throat> and a good game, and know what to do to put on uh, a W on their on their board. But you know, I in the end of the day, when these guys face each other, someone has to lose and someone has to win. So that's my job. At this point to say who is going to go into the uh, playoffs here and immediately um, I, I think if we like divide this by color which I, I mean yes I only have to choose top eight but like this is better for this for me is a way that I could like view it in my head uh, I feel this lower half is a lot more stacked than this upper half like I don't know if that's just me or so but uh, when I look at this lower half, uh, I'm gonna like lock these in as well. But like, I think TC, I think Sablo, I think Recon, I think Owen, I think Mio, I think all those guys are gonna go to playoffs for sure. So what? TC, Sablo, Recon, Mio, Owen. That's five of those eight people that are gonna go to playoffs. And now we only have three spots for up here. And I think. Um, if I had to choose, I would say I'd put, um, let's see, I'd put David there. I, I feel like I know that he could play to a high level, and I feel that he would be able to do so, and especially in this uh, kind of environment, I think that he could be a playoff contender. Um, I feel Alex can do the same thing. I think he was in Kakuna playoffs maybe i don't know but like he's been like every time i've like heard alex like he, i think he's i've always associated him with like a win so i think he's gonna go so like david alex and then one more um i'm gonna put it between uh zern and juiced but i think i'm just gonna give it to zern because i know more about zern than juiced um yeah it's a little biased i know but i when i look at it i think if you look at ben ice and zern uh and down here with like low main and bill like, i think like uh, like okay maybe like zern and bill between zern juiced and bill but i know the more most about zern so i think zern could easily take that spot in the playoffs uh, I think Bill has a good chance as well, to be honest. But uh, who knows? I, I could easily see just these eight going in the same way that I could see like, a couple here. But it's just like, and then do they only, only choose eight? So I'm going to go TC, Sablo, Recon, Mio, Owen, Alex, David, and Zern. And within the Hive prediction doc, uh, surprisingly, I don't want to say surprisingly, but uh, I, I don't know who chose uh, everyone else for the most part. Yeah, I don't have the tab anymore. But I actually chose Sablo to win because I felt like I've only seen Sablo on a hot streak lately. Like he was in IPA mining for a while and he made it all the way to playoffs. He was in Summer Showdown in uh, second place, I believe. And then he won L 
uh, LD League Dependency. He won that league. So it's like he's just really, he's dominant. He's been on a very, very hot streak. And I would, I'm, I feel like betting against him is a, a kind of a mistake for other people. But nonetheless, I think that is really all I need to say. Um, yeah, no, that's, I'm just going to call it there. So have you guys a nice video. Thanks for watching if you did. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.